Yes, Mr. Pinky. Oh, yes, I saw the headlines. Oh, I know Tracy has been put in solitary confinement. Well, she's the only one in there. Oh, look, Mr. Pinky, I, I understand you have an empire to protect, but she's just a little girl, and little girls make mistakes. If they didn't, where would other little girls come from? Oh, yes, Mr. Pinky, I know. It is a shame. Good. All right, goodbye. Oh, Wilbur, this is a real my doll moment. Oh, Mr. Pinky called Tracy jailbait and me a liberal. I can't worry about people calling you names. You know how many times I've been called crazy, but I say, yeah, crazy like a loon. Anyway, I got just what Tracy needs here. Stand back. What do you think? Isn't it a doozy? Wow, impressive. But how is that little thing going to help our Tracy? You'll be surprised. Oh, look at you, Wilbur. You're a visionary inventor saving the day. Tracy is a teenage idol reshaping the world. And what am I? I had a dream too, you know. Oh, I used to make all my own clothing, remember? Oh, that was before I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest McCall's dress pattern. But still, I always had a dream that one day I would come out with my own line of queen-size dress patterns. You were good, Edna. Sure. But where has it gotten me? Twenty years later, and I am still washing and mending and ironing other people's clothing. One day, Edna. No day, Wilbur. My time has come and gone. Oh, I am like a worn-out pair of body socks, and the elastic is all stretched. Oh, suddenly, I feel so old.